quick update on the electronic warfare uh, programs currently underway. Uh, led by uh, Tear, or as they are called today, uh, Castic. Um, as you might or might not know, there are currently uh, multiple electronic warfare uh, programs being uh, developed. The first one uh, is the uh, one self uh, protection jammer uh, being developed by the uh, LCA Mark 1 uh, A program. And uh, apart from that, is the uh, universal electronic uh, warfare suite, which will be an internal system being uh, developed for the uh, LCA Mark II as well, which will work in conjunction with the uh, self protection jammer being developed currently. As we've already mentioned earlier from the last Aero India, uh, one of the limited series production aircraft is being uh, used for uh, developmental trials for the uh, internal uh, warfare suite in conjunction with the Uttam ASA Reda being developed by a sister laboratory LRDE. Um, these uh, trials are currently underway uh, in uh, Bangalore, and uh, nearly 20 sorties of these uh, um, internal of the internal warfare suite as well as the uh, SPJ have already been conducted, uh, primarily to um, primarily to. Uh, proof the uh, ASPJ as a weapon uh, on a weapon station uh, currently uh, if you see uh, behind me the R73 missile on the uh, outermost uh, wing hard point the ASPJ will be fielded on uh, the same uh, hard point uh, th this is to ensure that the uh, airframe can handle the ASPJ through all of its uh, maneuvers the pod actually is rated for the entire uh, flight envelope of the LCA so uh, adding it to the airframe does not in any way uh, uh, reduce the performance uh, uh, and maneuverability of the platform itself. Uh, coming to its uh, capabilities, again, uh, it is meant as a self-protection jammer and uh, being a smaller uh, aircraft with a uh, lower RCS, the LCA Mark 1A uh, does not require a wind ported system uh, like it is being developed for the uh, Su-30 MKI of the uh, Indian Air Force. Um, Again, uh, uh, out, of a total, out of a total of uh, nearly 75 uh, sorties needed to uh, fully proof the system, nearly 20 have been conducted. Uh, in Bangalore, uh, it will be against a single emitter, being uh, an electronic warfare system, uh, which is uh, designed to uh, deceive uh, ground-based uh, radars. Uh, initial testing has been done in Bangalore, and uh, further testing, uh, once it is proven here against a single and fewer emitter uh, ground-based, it will uh, then shift to a uh, electronic warfare range uh, somewhere else in the country where it will be proven against uh, multiple uh, radars, uh, ground based, uh, to finally uh, ensure the, uh, uh, the the SPJ is uh, certified for uh, production and uh, induction into the uh, for the LCF uh, Coming to the uh, Su-30 MKI, there is a question among uh, many of us that uh, if the LCA is uh, if if an internal warfare suite is being uh, developed for the LCA, why not just uh, port that system over to the Su-30 MKI uh, aircraft? Given that they are in uh, dire need. Uh, and they currently feel the huge uh, SAP 518 parts uh, of Russian origin, which uh, pose severe uh, uh, maneuverability uh, constraints given their uh, size and weight. The issue again is that um, the Su-30 MKI being, despite looking huge and being huge, does not have a lot of uh, internal space to accommodate newer uh, systems. So the uh, thinking right now is that the ported system, the bigger uh, high pan jammer that we've posted pictures of on Twitter, uh, if you followed us, is that uh, they will be an ex external ports for the moment uh, on the left and right uh, wingtip stations. And uh, when the Su-30 uh, fleet undergoes uh, a mid career, mid life upgrade, a lot of internal systems will be uh, removed given that uh, newer systems are smaller, lighter and everything. So there will be uh, space available once these older systems are removed and replaced with newer, lighter, smaller systems. And in that uh, upgrade period, an internal warfare suite uh, might be accommodated. Uh, studies are still ongoing, but uh, there is no definite uh, timeline or uh, program as yet but the idea is to do that and uh, this is on to, uh, this is based on their ex experience with the MiG-29 upgrade program in which older uh, systems were replaced inside uh, the uh, inside the MiG-29 uh, fleet of the Indian Air Force and uh, the uh, newer uh, electronic warfare uh, 
components were placed. If you've noticed uh, at the wing root on uh, left and right sides. So uh, the uh, idea is that a similar system will be uh, uh, installed on the C3 MKI fleet. Coming back to the uh, functioning of the pod itself, um, just a quick run on uh, the um, analog uh, radar warning receiver antennas to course direction finding. So whenever uh, the aircraft is being lit by a ground-based radar, the uh, uh, radar warning receiver uh, does direction finding to pinpoint where the ground-based radar is at the moment uh, that is being uh, tra that is trying to target track the uh, aircraft, and then that information is passed on to the uh, pod, which has uh, active phase array uh, for uh, fine direction finding. And after that, the uh, onboard processors uh, work out a solution for uh, either deceiving the uh, ground-based radar with uh, a lot of noise, blanketed, or by uh, performing deception maneuvers so that the actual location of the uh, aircraft is not very evident to the ground-based radar. Uh, that's pretty much it when it comes to electronic warfare and uh, warfare systems under development uh, currently. Uh, we will know when they are uh, ready. As for timelines, ASPJ for the LCA Mark 1A is uh, supposed to be ready by September, October of this year. As for the uh, Su-30 MKI uh, high band jammer pods, uh, we are looking at sometime in the second half of next year, which is 2024. 